For years, there's been a debate about whether using sunscreen over SPF 50 really makes a difference. Now, a new study suggests you may want to go higher for better protection. Meg Oliver has more. Let's go. First time mom Jessica Goldstein keeps five month old Eloise out of the sun as much as possible. I want to make sure that she's completely protected. I don't want her to get any sort of skin cancer. Some people find choosing a sunscreen overwhelming with so many options. Now new research suggests higher SPF sunscreens may be your best bet to avoid sunburn. A recent study in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that SPF 100 was more protective than SPF 50. Dr. Daryl Regal is one of the study's authors. This was a real use study where people actually used it as opposed to testing it in the lab. Because people under apply sunscreen, the higher SPF is more forgiving. And that's really what the advantage was for the average user. They put on a little less and they skip a little bit, they're still getting strong protection. Researchers compared SPF 50 versus 100 on skiers in Colorado. The study found the SPF 50 side of the face was 11 times more likely to burn compared to the SPF 100 side. Dr. Regal advises choosing a sunscreen that's at least SPF 30 or higher. You wanna look for the words broad spectrum because that means it protects ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B waves. You want something that's water resistant, water resistant 80 minutes. That's the maximum of protection. Although Jessica chooses shade over sun. As I got older and started really understanding what could happen, I realized that I need to be putting on sunscreen. She now plans to reach for the highest SPF available <laughs> under the sun. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. Now, the study was funded by Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated. Dermatologists also recommend reapplying sunscreen at least every two hours. Jay.